Law Warrior Online. SJA-7D Shugenja. Overview. One of two new designs from Independence Weaponry on Quentin, the Shugenja, like the Taisho, is equipped with a C3 computer system. This new design follows in the footsteps of the Naginata, also produced by Independence Weaponry. As the C3 computer has finally begun to lose its stigma amongst Combine Warriors, Independence expects sales of all three units to skyrocket within the next year. Capabilities Impressed with the maneuverability and survivability of the unusual Komodo battle mech, Independence Weaponry contacted Luthien Armor Works to produce the design specs for its base Alshane type chassis. After acquiring the chassis, designers began altering it to support an additional 30 tons of equipment and armor. The finished chassis bears a striking similarity to the Komodo, causing several executives at Luthien Armor Works to call the new design Komodo's Big Brother. As with the Taisho, the Shugenja is built around a C3 master computer. However, unlike the Taisho and Naginata designs, which mount standard low-cost engines, the design specifications of this mech required the more expensive Extra Light engine. However, Independence Weaponry is confident that the power of this new design more than offsets the higher price tag. The mech's weapons complement includes two large lasers, an extended-range PPC, and an MRM-30 launcher, armed with a new Shugenja medium range missiles. The seemingly mystical ability of this design to bring that firepower to bear on almost any opponent regardless of the speed or terrain involved, thanks to the superior targeting of the C3 system in conjunction with the Bex Lance Mate, gave the Shugenja its name, which means Magic User. Deployment As with the Taisho, the first Shugenjas have been shipped to the Genyosha regiments. So this is a 75 ton heavy, it's the Alshane Type Heavy Chi chassis. It has a 300 Vlar XL power plant with a cruise speed of 54 and a max speed of 86 with no jump capacity. Its armor is ferrofibrous. Its armament then is a Lord's Light Extended Range PPC, the best name of the PPC brands, two diverse optics Type 30 large lasers and a single Shigenja MRM-30 launcher. It's manufactured by Independence Weaponry on Quentin, with its communication system provided by the Garrett T19F with C3 targeting computer, and its targeting and tracking system is the Cat's Eyes 5. Not a bad looking design, actually. Probably the most classic uh, sort of style and look that uh, sort of immediately reminds me of a lot of the, you know, 2750, 3025 era sort of uh, art. Uh, the weapons are actually decently sized proportionately to the mech, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, overall, I, I quite like it. Uh, this all translates to a walk of four and a run six, so a little slower than the Barghest, for instance, in the previous entry. It has 15 double heat sinks for 30 dissipation, which is pretty damn good. Which is going to need it, because an extended range BPC is already pumping out, well, 15 heat. Uh, this is a mech that has 9 armor on the head, 35 on the CT, with 11 on the rear, 24 on the torsos, with 8 on the rear, and 24 on the arms, and 32 on the legs, so pretty decently armored. Uh, can even take a couple of hits to the back before having to worry about uh, uh, being opened up in the internals there. The ERPPC is the left arm mounted weapon. The MRM-30 is technically left torso mounted, uh, but obviously sits quite square on the top there as you can see. It has a single ton of ammo, of 16 uh, shots with the left torso mounted ammo, has two large lasers in the right arm and the C3 computer located in the right torso. Yeah, overall not bad. I quite like the look of this mech. It's a it's a heavy hitting, uh, but also feels like a bit of an all rounder because it, it largely engages at range. But the MRM system does allow it to at least get up close and personal and still do a fair amount of damage. Uh, MRMs are definitely one of those weapon systems that, when you first hear about them, you go you go short range, yeah, it makes sense. Point blank, big hitting, long range, keep at range, but you hit potentially you can hit with more missiles. MRMs just felt like a kind of like, why? Why do we make medium range missiles? But then you start to realize that medium range missiles aren't too bad. They're the midpoint between obviously the LRM system and the SRM system in the sense that they are obviously a bit more accurate the closer you get, but they give you the potential of being able to hit with a lot of munitions all at the same time while also not having to worry about so much uh, damage being hit on the player, because you know, I think they still do one damage per missile. So it's sort of like trying to come up with the the best midpoint between these two weapon systems, and 
It's also interesting because it's a unique weapon system uh, for a long time for the Draconis Combine. I think before MRM started to become a little bit more widespread and you know, the uh, other houses building their own designs, although I think that's actually a bit further along. Uh, MRMs, I do believe, are kept by the Curetans for a fair amount of time before they start uh, sort of filtering out to a different section. So it's uh, it's a pretty interesting little system. Obviously, C C3 is very deadly uh, as well uh, for anyone who doesn't really know, because C3 isn't so, so. If you only ever played like MechWarrior Online, for instance, C3 just never factors in. It's it's just it's a piece of equipment that doesn't have any impact on a, a live sort of arena uh, sort of shooter like that but uh, on the tabletop um, these these systems are very very important uh, for especially for creating lances because essentially what the system does is you create uh, the master computer which links to all of the others that have a slave unit installed and basically the targeting data from one filters back to the master and then goes out to the rest of the lance on the table that means that as long as one unit is within a certain range of the master computer all weapons fire on the enemy targets are counted at the range of the nearest uh, friendly unit which is great when you're using something like LRMs or any kind of lock-on weapon that's in range because you're not rolling at medium or long range you're now rolling at short range uh, to represent the obviously the improved targeting uh, capabilities of the uh, shared information that's coming in. In MWO terms this means this is the equivalent of when someone locks onto a target, even if you're at the other end of the map, you can see that that target is over there. That's kind of the equivalent. In MWO, virtually every mech has a C3 system installed. Uh, for argument's sake, it just doesn't take any weight or anything like that. C3 computers normally do take weight. Uh, in this case, uh, for instance, five ton of the mech uses the C3 computer. The slaves are obviously lighter as far as mass is concerned. Um, so yeah, a 75 tonner, I mean losing 5 tons to this computer, it, it seems like a lot, and in universe it's understandable that a lot of Curitan pilots would have preferred initially to have had access to obviously more armour, more heat sinks, more firepower, ammunition, rather than having a targeting computer, because yeah, I suppose a lot of pilots would be like, why do I need something that helps me aim, I'm a good pilot, I'm, I'm well trained, um, but the benefits of this thing is, it's, it's up there, it's scarily powerful. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, as I said, I, I quite like this package overall, it's a good mech. It's, uh, actually, it's a little bit of a pity that obviously it's, uh, it uses the MRM because I would love to have, um, seen a variant of this prior to MRMs coming in where maybe it had an LRM system instead. Um, that would have been cool just to use it in an earlier period because having to jump into, obviously, the sort of late 3050s, 3060s, or early 3060s to get access to some of these. Uh, interesting designs is a bit of a bit of a bummer, but still, that's the uh, that's the Shugenja. Quite like it. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's all I got on that one. Uh, definitely, I, I suppose if I was going to use it, it would definitely be a mech that I would reward players with. Uh, could be something that they might they might be awarded by uh, maybe a Curitan noble uh, who is very uh, grateful for the service that the players have provided. Uh, it's obviously salvage, uh, something that they might be able to buy, considering it's made by Independence Weaponry, so they may be able to get contacts within. Uh, the, they might do a contract for independence weapons, for instance, and may be able to work out some kind of deal. Uh, they could be test piloting one of these things, or um, it might be, uh, say, an older variant, uh, like a test bed variant that might have had, uh, that may not have had an MRM system, a different missile system on board, or it may have uh, had uh, like a slightly different weapons configuration, and the players get to keep it afterwards, that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I could see it being used in a few different ways. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. I'll catch you all next time, and have a good week. Till then, bye-bye.